Welcome back, Paul. Hey, now, it was just a few short months ago that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge delighted the world with news that they were expecting a little Duke or Duchess. Yes, but just how hard was it for Kate to fall pregnant? Well, health and fitness expert Amelia Burton has the details. Amelia, first of all, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. You've just had a baby. Yes, he's two weeks old today, actually. Wow. wow. So, Kate, I mean, Kate was very determined yep. to conceive, wasn't she? Yep. Uh, but what sort of preparations did she yep. Do make. Well, she's done quite a lot of preparations because it's a tradition in the royal family to fall pregnant within a year of getting married. But these guys bucked the trend because they had really busy schedules. But what it did do is it gave them a chance that they could actually prepare properly. So they sorted out their diet. So um, she's cut out alcohol. She's cut out junk food. But looking at her body shape, I never, I don't think she would have been a very big junk food eater. But no. apparently she loved pizza. She had a daily Starbucks addiction, so she's got rid of that. Um, and she was a social smoker as well, so she. She's cut out all the cigarettes. That seems to be so fashionable. At the I know. And also her social commitments. They were really, really busy. And um, she's cut back right on, you know, all her diary commitments. That kind of thing. I, I don't know if you've ever watched this show, but we're obviously obsessed with Kate and, and Wills. And, yep. you know, we're watching her over the last year. We thought at yep. some time she, maybe she was getting a little too thin. Would she yeah. fall pregnant being that thin? You know, she had to gain some healthy kilos there. Absolutely. Well, um, fertility can be majorly impacted by being underweight. And, um, you know, a lot of people who have a body mass index below 18, they can have irregular menstrual cycles. They don't even ovulate some mm -hmm. of the time. If you look at the photos of her around the wedding, she was really skinny. So thin. And yeah. you've got to yeah. remember that the, t that the um, TV ads and photographs add about five kilos. Mm. So if you saw her in the flesh, she was teeny she tiny. Was te it's like us. We're teeny tiny in the flesh yeah. too. It's just that on telly we look. <laughs> <laughs> no, now, what it is. This surprises me, Amelia, because... Um, in terms of diet, a lot yeah. of women swear by Brussels sprouts. I know. No wonder kids hate them. I know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, and apparently um, Kate did the Brussels sprouts thing. There is absolutely no scientific backing to say that eating Brussels sprouts helps you to fall pregnant. But what it is, is packed with folic acid. So, but if you don't like Brussels sprouts, don't worry. You can have things like um, spinach, asparagus, broccoli. All your big green leafies are packed with folic acid. Ah. You don't have to go and stuff your face with those... Uh, um, kind of slightly yucky vegetables. Mm. Also, also, she's a bit of a fitness freak. She loves a bit of hockey. Yep. Typically, we'll never get those shots. So, uh, <laughs> but, she, but she upped her fitness regime. For this, yeah, well, it? actually, it's not that she upped it. She backed off. There they are, all... see? <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. She loved um, running. She loved cycling. Um, she Rowing. Loved, yeah, yes, and tennis as well. Um, but she cut all the high-intensity activity back because if you're exercising too hard yeah. when you're trying to fall pregnant, it can actually have a negative impact. Yeah. But I can't stress enough how important exercise is when you're trying to fall pregnant but make sure it's nurturing your body as opposed to taxing your body i can hear a tiny did little did you baby cut back when you got uh pregnant with can, the can we just have a look at your Jenny, beautiful come on, oh, beautiful oh, baby. oh look my mom and my oh, is this your mama? this is three generations right oh, here oh he's a weight too look at him go this is baby lachlan hey lachlan now, He's did you call him Lachlan James Murdoch? <laughs> no, we didn't. We, Lachlan James Phillips is his official Lachlan name, James but we, someone said I didn't even realise that we were following in the Murdoch dynasty. <laughs> I say, complete He's a, coincidence. He's a good He's a one. Beauty. You think he's a handsome man? Handsome Hi, everyone. Man. He is Hi. so gorgeous. Because you only had him like how many weeks ago? Two weeks. Two weeks ago. I, I know. I wasn't sure how my brain was going to work on air this morning, but um, oh. it's amazing. I have to say, like I've never been a baby person, but um, something overwhelms you and, and he's just, he's perfect. He's divine. I think he, he just did a burp on yeah. air as well. He did. He right did. Into your microphone. <laughs> You're a classy guy, love. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks Thank for you bringing me. him. He's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, we're going to go back to Hollywood for all the ladies. All the latest Grammys action, I can hear him crying. It's so good. <laughs> and also, head.